Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, TGIF. This is your weekend reading and your 11-11 portal that we have tomorrow. And happy Veterans Day. Thank you for all you veterans out there. Thank you for your service, for protecting our country, keeping us free here in the United States. Okay. A um, couple FYIs. Um, tomorrow for my members only. Anywhere from the two dollar tier to buy me the coffee, buy me a coffee on up. I will be pulling cards um, roughly around 1 one thirty tomorrow. I do have a private reading, so I gotta really be careful about scheduling um, that tomorrow afternoon. And then also starting right now, immediately through Monday. Um, use coupon code one 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 one. I'm running a, a eleven eleven sale on YouTube recorded videos. Uh, so uh, you can anything in the recorded video section. You can use that coupon code to receive five dollars off. Okay, so if you, I would say go ahead and get that booked. I'm pr I'm pretty much caught up on those so let's go ahead and get into our messages and this is going to probably be brief because i have a chiropractor's appointment and my son and i have a lot of running around to do today so okay let's see what our messages are got boundaries thunderbird tracks and by the way, Monday we have a new, um, what is it? I have, we do have a new moon, I believe. Um, spirits. Okay. Thunderbird is the fast track. And spirits. A lot of you might be getting, I, I just want to say do, um, information download overload, overloading the circuits, okay? And I'm here to say that, I mean, getting messages from spirit is great, but sometimes, you know, we can't, just like human beings, we can get very over enthusiastic spirits in our presence. So what does that mean? Essentially... Um, just like humans, they get excited and they can start bombarding you with messages and you're trying to sort them out in your mind. This happens to me a lot. And sometimes what you need to do is you need to set some kind of boundaries. Now, this could also be indicating with, as far as spirits are concerned, this could also be spirits that are walking amongst us. Um, human souls, you could get lost. I don't want to, I don't know why I want to say this, but lost souls that are in human form right now, um, who are really trying to bombard you with their energy and we have to set some kind of healthy boundaries. Okay. I kind of like that title, overloading, circuit overload, overloading the circuits. But that's what I feel, especially with all the cosmic energy. I know that we have a stellium coming up in um, Sagittarius. We have one in Aries coming up after that. You know, and when you get a stellium in one sign, a st what a stellium is, several planets piled up in one sign. Like, and it's all this powerful energy for that sign. So there's a, there's going to be a lot of fire energy. Fire is our inspiration. Fire is our action taking. What actions are we going to take towards certain goals? Okay. So let's see what we've got for messages for today. Under the deck. 
Um, we do have the Seven of Wands. This is warding off that overload, warding off energies. Queen of Pentacles trying to ground ourselves. I think that's the key right there. Just and the moon energy. Our intuition, our instincts. I think our instincts is to run from this energy when we start feeling overloaded. And we got the page of pentacles. There's the messages. That's what we're talking about. I, I thought so. You know, getting bombarded with messages, um, spirit messages. And those messages doesn't necessarily have to be chitter chatter in your mind. Like me. I get a lot of chitter chatter. I hear a lot of chitter chatter. But I also get symbols and signs and, you know, hear a song and certain lyric, whether it's in the chorus or in the stanza you know, or in, in the main verse, you know, something sticks out. And these are psychic downloads. And sometimes we can get overloaded, especially if you are new to receiving downloads. Like if you're in the process of developing your gifts, sometimes it can be even frightening when you start getting all these messages, right? And it's a lot of messages. And so we kind of get a little bit defensive and we try to block them out. It's not that you want to block them out, uh, but you do need to ground yourself. And you sometimes it's okay, you know, with the spirit world saying, can we talk about this later? I'm really getting overloaded and I really need to process. You could tell the spirits, whoever, even your God. Well, your God usually won't do this to you. Usually it's um, loved ones for, who have passed. Um, that type of spirit. It's usually not a spirit of a guide or an angel or guardian angel or anything like that. It's usually somebody who has passed who's trying to bring messages through they want and when they realize that you're open up they could bombard you like crazy and maybe even multiple spirits oh you need like your next door neighbor's mother died and she's coming through you gotta go tell harry this oh i hid the money here you you understand what i'm saying and sometimes you got to put some boundaries with those types of spirits and say slow down one thing at a time you know those are healthy boundaries. Even just like the human world. When you put boundaries with people in the world. People you interact with. Sometimes you have to do that. With the spirit realm as well. And not shutting it off. But at least putting some boundaries. And say let me process this. Okay. And like I said. This feels like this message is somebody. Who is very new. To mediumship. Or and tapping into your higher self, tapping into that other realm. Okay, Four of Cups. This is very new, Ace of Wands. The Ace says you know how to show the potential. It's the seeds that are planted. Inspiration. And this is very inspirational communications coming in. And some of you, like that overload's coming in, you're like, I don't know if I want this gift. It's a beautiful gift, but you have to just kind of set some boundaries. Um, there's the devil. There's the fear. Um, and I'm also picking up an energy of, for somebody out there, it goes against what you were brought up to believe religious-wise. Um, as soon as I saw that, I heard somebody telling you, that's the devil's work. It's not. If it was the devil's work, all those m millionaire preachers that you see on TV that's on a stage and they're giving out prophecy, right? Do you think that's of the devil? It's the same energy. They get their messages the same way that you are getting your messages, that I'm getting my messages. That this person over there is getting their messages. That that medium is getting their messages. That preacher on that stage, it, they just put a different label on it to justify it for their religion. Okay? That is one of the deceptions in this world that we are led to believe. 
if you're not a preacher, if you're not in some kind of official church, some angelical, evangelical church, it's of the devil. That's being that's them being judgmental. Doesn't make you any less of a prophet than that person making millions of dollars on the stage. Okay. How'd you get here? <laughs> Incoming. You have three of wands. It's like the ships are coming in and you're trying to, and it's like, I, I, I need to slow this down. But it's incoming messages, and the threes do promote growth. Okay? So there is something that you have here that you could actually grow in. And what's passing is the um, justice card. That is making a decision. That is a choice on balancing things out. So there, this is like everything is coming in, and I'm getting overload in one way or another I need to balance the messages I need to balance my gifts I need to find my equilibrium and that is the card of Libra so you know some of you this started very very recent and you may not understand what's happening you may not understand how to control it and there is a sense of learning the Page of Pentacles is the student of the pages, okay? Um, studying. It's the study card. So it's like you are transitioning into a new you, into a new way of being, and it is going to require some buckling down. It is going to require some work. It is going to require some study and definitely grounding. I don't want to see you try to resist this fight it off because there's for some reason spirits giving you this gift right and it's coming out now near future is the ten of swords okay don't panic the ten of swords is simply um an ending it's it's like a death and this is confirming to me that the types of spirits that are trying to contact your probably deceased loved ones of yours, friends, co-workers, the hairdresser, you know, it's just, you're now that you are tapped in, whether you willingly went out seeking this, some of you may have, and then when it started coming in, you're like, whoa, what WTF but I want to see more about this um, ten of swords energy what is this I just feel like yeah abandonment um, strength nine of pentacles high priestess very spiritual so this is people that have abandoned their earthly bodies. And things are coming on with you very, very strong. And you, have, you are in the process of cultivating a gorgeous, beautiful, spiritual relationship with the divine, with your ancestors with the spirit world, with your angels and your guides. This is the process has begun to start developing those close relationships with those beings. But yes, it's okay to lay some boundaries and say, I need to digest this. This is My circuits are getting overloaded. I am new to this. I don't understand this. Your guides and the angels are really not going to bombard you like that. Because they, that's what they are, they're guides. They come in when they need to come in. And it's okay to call upon them and say, Hey, can you help me with this? There's too many spirits coming around me right now that it, and if I feel like I'm in a crowded restaurant where everybody's talking and I can't make out one particular conversation over the other. It's like they're all mixing together. And that's kind of what I'm getting. Everything's getting mixed. It's like, being in a big crowd and everybody's shouting or everybody's talking 
and you can't make out one make out even you can't even focus on one particular conversation that some a spirit is trying to have with you so sometimes you go it's almost like some of the boundaries could be okay let's foul up here one at a time one at a time single foul single foul just like kind of being like remember elementary school the teacher saying single foul as you're going down the hallway kind of the same idea here this is really i i like this energy somebody's really developing into their gifts uh, but there's a lot of anxiety and fear here show me the, show, what is this fear six of cups the fool this is breaking away from tradition page of wands okay um, these are new messages and eight of cups uh, some of you feel like that by embracing this that you may need to walk away um, from everything that you were brought up to believe in um, and I think or maybe you are required to and you're afraid to abandon you're afraid to abandon what you know six of cups is familiar energy it is that of the past it is the memories it is the nostalgia and yes it is past life and this devil energy that is this is something that's kept you bound and what has kept you bound it kept you from embracing anything new going on this spiritual journey has been some old traditions maybe even some family members but this is old ways of doing things old memories things that you have learned growing up and i think that uh that some of you may feel like you are betraying 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 like a mother a father or grandmother whomever by opening up a new chapter and changing what you know there seems to be a sense of truth coming out here that um, I look at it more of widening, expanding your horizons. Um, the Three of Wands can be about expanding the horizons, okay? And that's kind of what I'm feeling here. But I see this need to break some chains. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit differently. I got a set of playing cards here. I'm going to pull a few of these. But this is, this is really gorgeous energy. You just got to get over the fear. You can't fear this. Okay. Let me see if I could get some kind of prediction here. <coughs> Eight of hearts, love messages. Yeah, so, there are messages, and this is outside of this, okay? <clears throat> These are my playing cards. Yes, I'm going to get diving back into them a little bit. This is what my grandmother used to do. She used to read playing cards. So there are messages of love coming in, a wish fulfillment, and something that is totally focused on you. Um, worries, seven of clubs, king of clubs, and eight of clubs. Okay. What I'm getting here is a wish being granted. Everything that you ever wanted, despite any kind of arguments or disagreements, you know, some of you may even be divorced and you may have some kind of battle going on with an ex, okay, that you are worried about. And Spirit is here to say, your wish is coming to pass. There is very positive messages. Um, 
and this is the U card, and this is um, also connecting with others. So there is this sense of happy gatherings, messages, positive messages. And in the way I do this, this is saying like, yes, the wish is being granted here. And, and it's all about your energy. And I just get this image of somebody being jealous or something like that. But despite whatever this is that you're going through, whoever it is that is a rival or an ex or whatever, and this is a masculine energy that is the rival or the ex. And the ex could be not just an ex-lover, it could be an ex-friend or an ex-employer. Take it as it resonates, but there may have been an argument that sparks a separation and a lot of worries and concerns. Okay? There's a there's a certain set of you out there. This could be a disagreement with a spouse or a father, somebody in a place of authority. However, it's not permanent. <clears throat> okay? Don't worry about it because there seems to be peace and harmony and things working out in the end. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to end the reading here. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you folks in your next reading. Love and light.